the madman. My arena record so far has been unbelievably good. Now let's see if we can take things in a little bit of a facey direction. It's already a tough choice between Taraho Brave and Freezing Trap. Brave. But I do think it's quite close. Hey look, that's a 1 mana 1-1 one, one. that comes with a Freezing Trap. Hey look, that's a turn 1 win the game. I can't believe I'm picking something over Basilisk. But Peasant is the king. No cap. See a Peasant, pick a Peasant! I don't know why the 4-mana 5-4 taunt is getting rated so high, but I feel like I should pick the 2-mana card. I'm gonna go Tide Hunter. Wow, 2-mana 1-3. Back in the day, this used to be a 2-mana 1-1. One, one. This is quite a bit better now. I have no beasts in my deck, but I'm sure- Oh! That's a beast. What a beast. That's a beast. Oh, that's a beast. But not actually beast tag. But still a beast. Especially since my entire deck is minions so far, and will probably be mostly minions anyways. My card's ridiculous. Eh, this... What's your purpose? To activate Fleet Hoof Pearl Tusk. What's your purpose? To find exactly Claw. And also the... the Tonk. That's a beast. That's a beast. That's a beast. The 3 drop. Discovering cards is really good. In arena. 5 mana, 6, 5. Yeah, I mean, decent stats just by itself. I mean, it's not great, but it's... It's better than the others. The Reachable. That Rodent Nest was actually quite good when my opponent was playing. The format's slow enough that I think that's actually rather good. Uh, it is the highest in terms of stats, and I have no 4 drops, so... Another Deep Run Engineer. I'm gonna pick the 4 drop, because we're missing 4 drops. It's the lowest win rate card. Out of these. And I actually have two ways to generate secrets in the deck. But it's a 4 drop and I don't have 4 drops. That's gotta be the best pick. Wriggle... Eh, yeah, Battlemaster. I was about to insta-pick the Forge Fiend, but yeah, statue. I actually have a decent amount of tokens. Wow, all of these cards are so good, but I'll pick Scorpid. These cards are quite good. This card is not quite good, but... Whatever. That card is quite good. That card's pretty good. I'm definitely feeling the uh, card quality in the stack being fairly high. Candletaker's quite good. I think, yeah, that's better than Brewmaster. After you play a beast, add a random beast to your hand. That's so cool. Traveling Merchant, that could be really cool too. Actually a tough pick. The Traveling Merchant like comes out and just sometimes can kill people. But the Saddle Master, it's almost like a Gadgetan Auctioneer. Uh, I think I would like more cards that I would like to proactively play on three. And I guess that would be Saddle Master. Very close. Yep, Tonk. He's there in a box. It's actually one of the reasons why you pick Hunter and Druid. Yeah, I'll take uh, Sarah in a box. I don't think this deck is that aggressive, that Tonk is that good. It's actually um, kind of a value deck. Very flexible. Board 5 4, a small bonus. The minion died this turn, gained poisonous. I'm not entirely sure why this is not higher. It seems really good. I could honestly use another 2-drop, but I think that 5-drop's rather decent. I like it. Another Rodent Nest. I think I don't have that many 4s, so that's still quite good. Uh, there are no weapons in this deck. And there are no weapons in this deck. Maybe just uh, increase the curve a little bit, go with the Scorpid. Okay, so this isn't the aggro deck that I thought I would get, but instead, it just has good cards in it. And you know, honestly, that's what you can that's all you can ask for. Get good cards. Don't really try to force an archetype. And we got a double rodent nest, which I'm excited to hatch.
I don't think I've ever seen anyone use the uncorrupted version of that card. I was going to wait until coining that out, but I'll coin this thing out. That's such a good matchup. Hopefully everything works out. Ooh, Ramming Mount is supposed to be uh, so strong that it's banned. So I'll pick it. Imagine if they play a 3-4, and then I ram my Scorpid up their 3-4. Oh, that's almost as good. Sorry, diplomatic immunity. Prepare to see why this card is banned in Arena. Oh, it's a Yeti! Oh! That's a nice card you have there. I guess I'll just kill it. <laughs> Alright, what now? Oh, Sword Eater. That was a pretty good card. Darn. It's about time for Scorpid to meet its match, it seems. Oh no! Oh no no no! <laughs> no no no! <laughs> oh no! Only I had a ton. How many cards has this thing killed so far? I played it on three. No, I played. Yeah, I played this on two. I attacked into a three drop. Then I attacked into a four drop. And then I attacked into a card on five. And then he attacked into it, and they used the card on it. I, I lost track. Hey, we still have a ram. That's gross. Oh, I didn't actually think about that. Yeah, Battle Master plus uh, Tavisha's Ram. That's a combo. No, my Ram! My Ram! I lose. I could actually find a Zoth in the resizing pouch. Actually, a good secret to just play on turn two. I have things you never knew you wanted. It's gonna be so hard to just not attack into one one. I think I feel. Jackpot! I feel like I would attack into the one one. Good, good. What is it? Force them to ping is pretty good. Not really a force. Can also just give me a card. Or you can use a spell. Yeah, I'll just take a card. All good. My Saddle Master combo is here!
So I just play Doggo Doggo. Or. Takes me a while to like have this sink in and be like, oh yeah, that's a card. I don't think our two defender is a very good play right now. I think Rodent Nest is a really good play. Yep, Tonk. Oh wow, well, since I've seen a Stockade's Prisoner. Full cool card. Truly. That is a power turn. Oh, that's a power turn. I need to kill the one too. And it's not going to matter which one I kill. This will actually matter. Yeah, it goes there. I need to make sure that this goes here. Because this goes there. And then Dire Counting Wolf over here. And then that goes to 3. So 2 plus 3 equals that. Very good. Two, four, seven. Not a long time. Faster in my swap. I didn't get to hit the button a single time for my quest again! <laughs> hmm. I think getting Rodent Nest out on turn 3 is so strong that that's the turn 3 play. Still fine. I just have to hope not to get warp past. I could have like uh, hedged by sending a two one into the two four. Thank God. Wait, that was terrible. Worst one to attack. Five four should have uh, been more central due to the battle master. Probably won't matter. I just have to remember to put strong guys to the right side of this. Story. Oh, strong card. Yep. Tonk. That series of plays, Tonk, Pearl Tusk, Battlemaster, is going to be killer and possibly a thriller.
That was actually a decent swap. There is actually going to be a tough choice next turn on whether I play Battlemaster or Pell Tusk. It'll probably depend. But if the Tonk isn't removed, I get to deal 20 damage to face. Oh, never mind. Oh, that was a very fast quadruple missile. It was just like, yeah, just send it all to the face. Pretty meh, but it's fine. Wait, tall order. Why didn't I play this card first? Punish? Well, we'll go for the long game. After three friendly beasts die. Oh my. Draw a beast and give it plus one plus one. It's gonna be draw three in this deck. I was definitely gonna play with Taraho, but now I'm gonna play Leatherworker. Tyrannosaurus wreck. Wow, I almost can't play a card here. But almost. Okay, so bam 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 bam. I have lots of mana left. I guess it's Taraho Brave. Why didn't I play Battlemaster? All these guys could have attacked again and cleared the board. No, nah, this is also actually kind of good. No, I, I agree. Battlemaster is better. Kind of amateurish. I think I just noticed that Taraho was really good since they had a board. like two cards left. I should just go with the Mastiffs and trade them into the 610. Card is pretty scary. <laughs> Why trade? It's so scary! I'm scared, okay?
Those minions are very strong, but the question is whether or not there's a spell in there. They only played one 4-drop. I think there's a spell. I'm not sure if I could have um, checked Emerus and seen how many cards were buffed, but it would have been good to check. Oh my god. Well, if I knew they had something that big, I felt like I could have just, you know, drug it out and had it be much safer. I, I don't think what I did was necessarily misplaced. Sure, I could have done this in the first place, but... I felt like this was a worse play than just trading and then going for the long game. I couldn't have imagined there'd be an 18-12 in there. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> That's quite a trait. Actually saved. Am I still going to lose? I found you, Sarah. Now, this is actually a legitimately hard choice. I thought Anixia was worth thinking about. Definitely a lot better for board control. The roller coaster is so good, I feel like I should keep it in my opening hand. How many spells do I have in this deck? Uh, one? I'm still counting. Stream isn't frozen. I'm just still counting. Alright, I think I should keep the roller coaster in my hand. That's such a strong 5 drop. Still counting, Volbeat, great song. Is that like, I'm still counting, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still counting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da na 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 da 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 Cause I'm still counting better than I ever thought. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I should trade because I have the real coaster coming down. I need more board space. Sweet. 
So much trading incoming. It's almost like expendable performers. I had mentioned uh, in an earlier run that I hadn't seen Rodent Nest ever. Uh, that just kind of signaled that I just don't play Arena much because I can see that Rodent Nest is actually a very strong card. Another happy guildy. Oh, look at that guy, he didn't even hesitate. He knew that uh, when my guy attacked him on his turn, the weapon would deal damage. Good for him. That's uh, something that I would have had to at least pause for and see the result. That claw. Now that was an unfortunate claw draw. Because when claw draws. When claw draws. I don't know how to put it actually. Oh my goodness! That one. Oh, that's terrible. When claw draws a big card, that's bad. Okay, what beasts are in here? We got a Cobra, a Mastiff, Akoto, Scorpid, Pearl Tusk, five. Keep them coming. Man, after the coaster uh, nest turn, I thought I was good. I went to uh, blod their way back very nicely. Really good Sound the Bells turn. Really good Pharaoh's Blessing turn. And a good tax turn. Those who set themselves against me. I'm holding my breath here. Fountain Rush. Like, definitely could have been a lot worse. I guess I would need to try to get the dog. Oh, that's bad. Can't actually play Pearl Test to trade that. It's not terrible, I guess. Very pricey, but worth the price. No fair, my opponent was too good a player. Basically.
duty. Another happy guildy. That, is this a card that can't show up in Arena? I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh wow, that Venomous Strike bow is actually quite good too. I need to choose this to have a chance, I think. The other one is uh, potentially too slow if they trade. I'm out of fuel. My caravan, I think, has summoned eight guys. Gross. Alright, alright. Okay, I want Swift Mercenary on the low side, which means turns into monster on two, becomes friendly on three. So I want to play that on three with the coin. And I think I'm going to wait to breed, because the card I breed could be highly variable. Also, better to send the 1 2 into the 3 2. Think one turn ahead. What should I play on turn 4? Two 2 drops, which I already have. Guess I'll pick Amalgam. I think that spreads out the type of cards I have more. Drawing the Settle Master means breeding the dogs will be very profitable. But I can wait, that seems like a late game play. Definitely thought about do I want to clear off that thing completely, but these are all decent trades. But not for a long time. This one goes there. This one goes there. Hmm, big of true. I was thinking about taking it slow there, but maybe that's too slow. Maybe I should be going Circus and Walgum and like Candle Taker. Could also go Saddle Master Candle Circus. That is a beast. I don't think that is better. And then the turn after, I'll have seven mana. I'll probably play the Dark Moon. I sigh a little because I know the amount of value I could get off that Settle Master. It could be really large, but that's a really big giant. Hmm. I don't have lethal on that thing. That's terrifying. Oi. Really? Okay. Hmm. 
The opponent does know I have this statue in my hand. Oh, well, I have exactly 10 on the board. That's nice. It's object permanent. Permeance? If they can't see it, it's not in my hand again. I wasn't sure. It was called permanence? Yeah, that makes sense. Permanence. I do actually think that this arena is. This arena season is particularly good because the expansions interact in pretty interesting ways where it is actually legitimately easy to make misplays. Beasts are left. Mastiff, Cobra, Scorpid, Pearl Tusk. Four. Five. Scorpid. Alright, get the Mastiff, send it in. Okay, this is fine. I can always play the Battle Master if this attacks this and fails to go there. That's pretty good. It's kinda good. I wouldn't say it's good, per se. And then do I want to break the egg? I think maybe not. Everything is not going my way here. But it's still fine. Seven one one locust with rush. Quick shot plus two. Five? Interesting. I can't believe this is actually getting played. What a cool mechanic, tradable. Probably gonna be trades all around. Valley. Valley. There are two beasts left in this stack, Cobra and Scorpid. I'll draw one of those at the last charge of this. Cards would be too big to deal with, I reckon. There'll be a too low a health total to use that, I reckon. And 
There's also two more worthless imps in there. I've got Hero power, clean it up! I can't believe this secret never gone off. Ugh, oh, I wonder what else I could have gotten. Oh well. Ooh! Pezzonte! How pleasant. Love is just an arrangement away. Hmm. The secret I get could be really relevant. It's an interesting idea. I'll just take the two plus one. Thing that no longer has permanent wind fury. I have so much card advantage. Good thing these take good thing these games take a while now. Right? Ah, I know for a fact there's a secret in there. Excellent. I'll probably coin out the six so I can play the five. Crip mentioned once you took 40 minutes on a turn years ago when Crip was casting and the timer wasn't a thing. I doubt I would take 40 minutes on a turn. I don't know if he was exaggerating? That doesn't sound right. I don't remember that. I also don't know if it was me. Um, he might have meant Monk, who did famously take a very long time on a turn. Totally forgot about the infiltrator. I got sidetracked. Just kidding. I didn't, uh, I did it on purpose. This is a brutal beating. Ah, 
How did I get this far ahead? Well, 30 damage. That's a lot of damage. Button Valley before I win. Alright, Peasant Cousin. Peasant coin dirigible, do I want to keep wriggling? Wriggling could be good, could buff the peasant if there's a one attack minion. Good hand. Huh. Match the tempo play with a cobra. That would be something. Mm, wow, this is tricky. I'm gonna play that. Surprisingly good play by the opponent. Buff. I can play two Mastiffs and totally trade and end up with no board. I can play a Mastiff and a Horror and end up with a 2-1 on the board. But then the Horror is gone. I can play Infiltrator, which is similar to just using the Mastiff card, where I'll end up having a 5-4 contesting a 4-4. The worst case scenario on the only Infiltrator play is I run into the 4-6 rush guy, uh, but I have the Rilled Coaster to finish that off. I think this is the line? Four guys kills the three two and the one two. Okay. They're almost out of stuff. Oof. So good. Six is the magical breakpoint here. Alright, Mosh Og announcer. I'm counting on this card to lay the board. A pretty interesting board. A lot of board tension. Hmm. Alright, well, that ended up very badly for me. I might as well pick the 3-3 three, three because it does more damage to the opponent when they hit it with the weapon. The secret weapon could be better than spell, I suppose. Yeah. 
Well, really specifically, aim at trying to freeze that berserker. It's gonna be tricky. That axe! That axe! It soloed me! I'm thinking about what can cause a maximum mistake because there might be some way to win a secret still. It's pretty unlikely, but just in case, I'm thinking it through. Not great. Other than not having a one drop or a two drop, it's quite a good hand. A fine purchase. I'm really glad there was no turn one peasant or a uh, summoning stone. weapon. Hmm. I don't feel the need to immediately kill that Scorpid. There's no rush, I think. No rush. Is that really the case? I could kill it right now on curve very cleanly, but what if I played Rodent Nest? What's the worst that could happen? I think it would be fine. The key about this card is it's slow, so you gotta play it. It's a little bit awkward, the, uh, the egg doesn't die, but it still looks good. Egg too powerful. Feel pretty low, but got strong board here. Nice. 
Another great quality card. Send in the claw, I guess. Good cheap card. Very tempting to play it. If I could... So basically I can play... Yeah, I should play the strong card, even though it's off curve. Six five does well against the four five. Oh, relevant! Oh no! What? What? Ow! Eh, better than those both trading the ogre. Probably better. I'll claim it's better. Okay, so poke poke. There's a two four left. That I can't deal with. I think it's a good turn to play a bunch of beasts. I guess. We hope the beast chain is real. And we're done. Um, I can either play my four drop or I can play the winner and hopefully get a good secret. I don't know what a good secret would be. I'll play five four and yeah, play the big cost cards. Especially while I don't know what secret I'm aiming for. Moshog uh, announcer is actually pretty good at one health. If they want to kill it, they might not kill it. A fine purchase. I should have tried to find a nature spell. There are no nature secrets, never mind. Well, at least this card uh, activates rush, or corrupt. Not bad. Oh. Wow, that's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, okay, let's see. Six one is probably going to two four. Saddle up. I mean, it's not going to happen, but it's pretty awesome. This meal, though, might be the MVP. You know what would have been really good lethal? Rushing into my ogre for lethal. With like a claw machine. That would have been gross. I should have played the Janela. This play. The best play here is the snake trap, unless he knows it's snake trap. Should be good regardless. It'll be right someday. Alright, now I'm quite ahead on tempo. Oh wow. Oh wow. I could have sworn it went back together. Sick overkill there. Hmm. 
Unlucky you. What a card. Take that! Oh. Yeah, fine. Why did it have to be the 1-1 one -one totem? That was my peasant time. I think I have to dirigible into that. If I dirigible into it, I definitely should play peasant. And then I guess I play saddle master with it. Yeah, that makes sense. I was dead set on playing Rodent Nest at first, but playing Peasant on an empty board is still quite good. It's better than an empty board, it's a board where I'm leading. As long as it keeps out arrows. Choose an enemy minion. Your minions attack it, then return any of that die to your hand. I like it. I should have played the camel. I'm done. I do also get one. Uh, I'll do it, fine. There's like no better turn here. Otherwise, I would want to be more greedy. I also get a bonus 1 3. Oh, I could have dealt one damage to the face. Oops. Oh, that's a combo. I hadn't thought about that. It's a really good combo. We're using a really good combo very generously here. No, it is legitimately quite a good combo. I spit on you. Look at that. You guys thought spitting camels sucked. It's the perfect enabler. I have like fuel for days here. Time to acquire Yasera. And then save it for a while. I don't know why this is suddenly coming back to me, but I do find it hilarious that World of Warcraft removed the spit emote. Oh, dream, unlucky. Spit is too much. Oh no! Oh, 
Let's see. How many beasts are left in the deck? Pack Kodo, Cobra, Scorpid. I can still go a while before having to play that Scorpid. Other Scorpid. Go the slow crew. My camel was helping. Unfortunately, its spit wasn't strong enough. Team player, I mean camel team player. How is that guy in six wins? Wait, wait. Man, also, this Gabonas never looks an Alec here. Are you kidding me? It's actually a good deck. I'm just, uh, you know, I just have way too much value. Wah. When I actually get a decent opponent, everyone thinks my opponent isn't actually decent. Wah, 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 etc. Whatever. I probably shouldn't have played that big 11 11 there. Eh, it doesn't really matter. All my cards are big. Potions, flasks, BOE, I got it all. Lethal if I can kill oh. Oh my Break their ranks. I will hunt you down. Break their ranks. Amazing. Hmm. Three drops in my deck. Candle taker, dirigible, pack kodo, saddle master, scorpion. It's interesting, it hasn't come up yet that I've thought about keeping exactly a 3-drop. That is one of my strongest 3-drops, which is why it's a little bit of a shame to play it on 3, but I think it's a strong card. Hopefully my uh, lack of a play throws off his rhythm. Uh-oh. Everyone's a winner. Well, the good news is three fours are really good against two threes. And surely they don't have a second flame. That would be disgusting. While this is actually good for me, it's still quite scary. Whew. Yeah, I didn't get fire sailed. I was definitely scared of that. Welcome to their show. Also, this is such a good beast. 
but it's been pretty rare uh, since I've gotten so tempoed. Fun's definitely played for tempo a lot. But I'm afraid you're looking out of fuel here, buddy. It's definitely too strong to ever trade. Battle Master isn't good enough right now. What is it? <laughs> Peasant finally found a good sneaky time to come on the board. So sneaky, Peasant. Oh. Well, good thing I got that death rod on the board. That's kind of awesome. Maybe I'll combo it with my rodent nest. What a day for a backstab. Oh wow, Flame Ward is actually a, a card. Oh, it's wrapping the flame ward. Oh, I have lethal. I actually missed one damage by uh, attacking with that one first. Not that it mattered, but it could have mattered. I'm the winner! Something great inside. Here go. I smell an ambush. Hop on. She won't die. I made that play because I actually have a three cost beast to follow up. Can't really think of anything that a pwn can do to be that advantageous here. Oh wow. Now that's that's a spicy play. Well, you got the beast master, but you didn't get the peasant. Peasant will be thwarting you at every turn, and you will not know it. Oh. What a shame. That has got to be the best target for Claw Machine. Oh my goodness. That's disgusting. Oh, that's concede worthy. Oh, so brutal. I'm crying for you. Your 4 drop lost to the Claw Machine and the Claw Machine didn't die. In fact, the Claw Machine was just barely scratched. Oh, 
That's also pretty brutal. These all suck. Oh. Um, do I want to send four of those out there? Or maybe I'll just leave it up. Hmm, leaving it up seems good. Sending all four is too extreme. And I'd like to send the six into the face. Opponent is at 7, 10, 8. That's lethal of the guild trader, right? If they're at 8, an ideal 5 plus. Yeah, that's lethal. Well, I can see. Whew, what a curve! A pleasant curve, indeed. Oh. Ooh. Wow, what a good box. This one goes there. A diet high in iron. Good claw machine. Claw machine on turn four. Brutal. Oh, nice, nice. Ooh, got my uh, Settle Master Hunting Mastiff combo. Trade this. Another happy guildy. What have we here? story. See, that deals one damage to all other minions. Just triple dog that thing. It's not bad. Any better play? No. Arguably, uh, nah, Swift Messenger isn't better. Take it slow. It's either Big Scorp or Announcer Breeder. What are the beasts in my deck? We got a Cobra. Pearl Tusk. Oh, there's only two. Which one do I want? Cheap card. To go with the, uh... Go with the Saddle Master. Should be happy that the opponent sent in the um, the axe on a one three. Ooh, ooh, this is actually a tough turn. I think I'm going to go three two three still. Tough turn, tough turn. One damage to a minion, two damage to its neighbors. Good card. Amazing. Good 
good minions if I don't die. There aren't that many spells around in Arena, so I wasn't that afraid of the Auctioneer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh! Wow! Hmm. Bone's well, got 5, 9, 11, 13, 4, 8, 10, 12. 14 on the board. If I remove 7, I'm fine. Moving 7 removes means removing the 4th 4. There's a wall in the way. Hmm. Alright, charger. I have so much value though! So much value, I'm crying! Stupid walls. 